I know, I know. Shout out to those of us who don't need wigs because God already blessed us with one. Thank you. So I'm so excited to film today, even if I've not been very consistent. I've actually been filming videos, I've been recording, but it hasn't been going well. It's either like it doesn't go well because it is scripted or it it doesn't go well because it is unscripted. Or the main issue I've been having is with my mic. And today, as you can see, I decided to not use a microphone because I don't know all these village people things. I recorded the video yesterday. I'm going to put it right here for you to see. Again, one or two things from this video, make sure. And the microphone messed the whole video up. It was so annoying and so like I'm someone that like just gets tired of something so easily. I was so tired. But then I actually like took that as an energy to film to actually record more because I'm like why would I record two videos and then it doesn't go well it doesn't make sense yeah so without further ado let's get into it I'm Victoria and thank you for stopping by to watch my video. I love you very much. Um, also, for those of you that are new to my channel and you don't know who I am, I am Victoria and I'm so excited to know you, to see you. I'm so excited to collaborate with you if you're willing to. I'm so excited to share my story and my, you know, my um, experience with you guys and grow with you, create a very big, a large community where we just grow and um, help each other and stuff like that yeah so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my content and if you want to join this community make sure you give this video a big thumbs up because it's pushing it's pushing it's, it pushes the video to the right audience that actually need this information and um yeah thank you very much so in today's video i will be talking about open source and how you can start contributing to open source how you can navigate your way through um walking around like diving into into open source basically i'm going to share my experience contributing to open source uh, and hopefully you start contributing yeah so if you don't know what open source is or you know about open source and you haven't started contributing because you don't know how to start and you don't know where to start from you don't know what project to contribute to or you don't even know where to get the project to contribute to from so the first thing that comes to your mind is what is open source how do you start open source where do you get projects uh, from so open source is exactly the way it sounds it is open and the source the source is open literally very simple a better explanation would be um it's, it, open source is a software where bro <laughs> open source software is software where it's code is free for anyone to modify to edit to copy and to like change it's free and available for anyone anyone and i'm going to be adding more information to the description below so you can check articles out and i actually want to write an article about open source but i wrote a blog about my my open source experience so far and i'm going to add that in my description also if you want to read it if you're a designer or you're a software engineer or product manager product designer you can contribute to open source another thing that we don't know is that we actually use open source software on our day-to-day -day activities like for example firefox firefox is firefox browser is an open source software where its code is available and free for anyone uh, to modify to edit or to change yeah so we have all that open source project that we are unaware about we have firefox browser linux operating system we have metabase and so on and so forth that we use in our day-to-day -day activities that we don't know that is actually open source and you might also be wondering like why why don't you just stick to your project and why don't you just like get a job and what are the advantages of you contributing to open source there are so so many advantages there are so many advantages of joining a community and contributing i'm going to tell you a few of them today the first advantage is networking with developers now you have the opportunity to network with developers if you're in a open source community if you're um, contributing to a project you have the opportunity to uh, to network with developers across the globe anywhere actually like all over the world and the best thing is that it's, it's remote and everybody likes remote the second advantage is um, improving your communication skills for someone that is not actually like really outgoing contributing to open source or joining an open source community can actually help you for me i've actually grown my communication skills over the month that i've started that i started contributing to open source and it has been great because i know like i'm not I, I don't think some people actually believe that i can come out here and talk because like you're basically like communicating with mentors you're communicating with other developers like you that are willing to contribute and literally it's just like having a job 
basically like increasing and improving your communication skills the way you communicate with your mentors and the way you uh, communicate with your fellow contributors contributing to open source would also improve your technical skills um, i've not really been being confident with javascript since i started learning it and contributing to open source and joining an open source community has really helped me um, with learning javascript and it has been amazing and yeah also you are automatically building a reputation and you are and you are building a resume because like some job opportunities you get actually want to know what you've done want to, aside from the project like personal projects that you've been working on some jobs um actually want to know if you are if you've contributed to open source community if you joined the conversation before how you join the conversation and how you contribute how you communicate with your mentors that's basically what some jobs are looking for yeah so those are a few advantages that you get from contributing to open source you might also be wondering how can you get this project where do you start from where do you get this open source project from so my first ever open source contribution was made on github through outreach i joined the public lab community and i contributed to the plot two project and i also contributed to infogram i will put in them here or here for you guys to see yeah so you can basically get projects on github so if you don't have a github account make sure you create one now and start contributing to open source so how can you start and stick with the community once you find the project what you want to do is claim an issue and don't stop claiming an issue <laughs> create issues and join conversations you're basically letting them know that you are staying you want to be part of the community you're part of the community you want to continue contributions you want to improve their websites yeah so that is how to how you can stick with the community so there are both advantages and disadvantages that would not be for this video this video is to basically tell you to start open source project if you have been saying oh i want to contribute to open source and you haven't started because you don't know how to start like you, you don't have the guide to start that i hope this video has given you enough information to start and you can always make research about the rest you can also check the description below because i will be adding more information i actually need your comments i want to know what you think about this video i want to know what you want me to improve on and yeah make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can get notifications when i post a video share with your friends that are also willing to dive into open source i'm so excited to get to know you and i'm so excited to collaborate with you and share my ideas share my story and share my experience with you guys so again subscribe um thank you for watching my video I'm so happy i'm so excited i'm so i love you guys and jesus loves you I hope like that is an explanation. That is enough. In that, I, I hope that is enough explaining. I'm looking. Yeah, like I'm shining right now. I'm shining. So if you're a designer, hey, this video is not scripted.